All right, boys and girls, so this is chapter five, section two. The name of this section is called Sequences. That's a Q, Sequences. So let's figure out what a sequence is and get these definitions out of the way. A sequence is an ordered list of numbers. Next vocabulary word we have is term. The terms are each number in a sequence. So an example of that is let's say I have the sequence um, 2, 4, 6, and 8. All these numbers here, 2, 4, 6, and 8, these are all terms. And last bit of vocabulary, when you hear arithmetic, you should think of adding. So an arithmetic sequence that is a sequence where the new terms are found using addition. Found with addition. That's a plus sign right there for addition. Okay, so an example of that would be, say we had uh, 8, 13, 18, 23. Let's say this was the sequence we have. So to go from this term to this term, I'm adding what? 5. To go from here to here, I'm adding 5. Noticing a pattern? Here to here, adding 5. So let's say I want to know the next two terms. From here to here, again, I'm going to add 5. 23 plus 5 is 28. And from here to here, adding 5 and 28 plus 5 is 33. So that's how I find the new the next two terms in an arithmetic sequence. So the book is going to ask you to describe, um, describe. they're going to say describe the relationship or describe the pattern, somehow to explain what's happening. So the way you would do this properly is you would say 5 is added to the previous, I'm going to abbreviate that, term. And if they said, what are the next two terms? We figured out it's 28 and 33. Sometimes they ask for the next two. Sometimes they ask for the next three. So this would be the way you would answer that. Um, so let's do a couple more examples and make sure you understand this. Better yet, I'm going to put up two sequences here and I want you to come up with um, the little sentence saying what's happening and the next two terms. So let's do first sequence 4, 7, 10, 13 and let's do another one here. Let's use decimals. How exciting. 1.0, 1.3, 1.6. And 1.9. So guest teacher, go ahead and uh, pause the video if you don't mind and let the students work on this. Once everybody has it, then press play and we'll go over it. All right, so hopefully you got it by now. So from 4 to 7, we're adding 3. From 7 to 10, we're adding 3. From 10 to 13, we're adding 3. So for the next two terms, adding 3. 13 plus 3 is 16. And adding 3, 16 plus 3 is 19. So for the description, you would say 3 is added to the previous term. And the next two numbers we found were 16 and 19. For this one right here, I'm adding 0 0.3, adding 0 0.3, 
adding 0 0.3. So for the next two terms, surprise, surprise, adding 0 0.3 and adding 0 0.3. Now, if the decimals gave you a little bit of a headache, use your calculator to help you out. So to find the 0 0.3 number, just look at the first two terms. Take the second one and subtract the first. So 1.3 minus 1.0. 1.3 minus 1.0, 0 0.3. That's where this came from. And if you can't really add decimals in your head, then just use your calculator. That 1.9, add 0 0.3 to it. 1.9 plus 0 0.3, boom, 2.2. .2. And again, boom, 2.5. So 2.2 .2 here, 2.5 here. So 0 0.3 is added to the previous term. And the next two in the sequence were 2.2 .2 and 2.5. So hopefully you did well on that. Um, the next part that we are going to talk about is if we don't want to find just the next, the next term or two, um, if we want to find a term that's way out, like maybe the 30th term or the 3,000th term, you know, what that value is. Well, with that, we're going to, um, easiest way to show you is by making a chart, and it's going to use a little bit of multiplication. So let's take a look here. Let's say that we had the sequence 2, 4, 6, and 8. And I want to know what's going to be, you know, the, the 200th item. Well, what I call these, think of these as positions. So this, the first one is the first position, second position, sixth position, eighth position. And I want to know what's going to be in the 200th position. So all the way down here. I'll label this position one, two, three, four, and I want to know what number is going to be all the way down here in the 200th position. So first of all, how's this going up? From two to four, it's going up by plus two. From four to six, going up by plus two. Six to eight, going up by plus two. Now we're going to make the chart. I'm going to label position here. Here I'm going to label this, uh, book likes to call it value of the term. Why not? I don't really care what you label it, but just know that it's that. So in position one, the value of the term was two. See? Position two, the value was four. Position three, the value was six. Position four, the value was eight. So How do you go from position number to value? Well, see how we're adding two with each one of these? That's the, the part of the sequence. We're just adding two to the previous term. So we're going to use that. We're going to take the position number, position number, I don't know, let's say n, and we're going to multiply it by what we're adding each term, which is positive two. So let's see what happens if we use that formula. Position number here is one, so we're going to do one times two, and one times two equals two. That's the value of a term. Position here is 2, so we're going to do 2 times 2. And that equals 4. That's the value of the term. Position here is 3, so we're going to do 3 times 2. And the value of that is 6, and that's what we have here. Position here is 4. 4 times 2. And that equals 8, and that's the value of the term that we have there, too. So this formula checks out. So now I want to know, what's it going to be in the 200th position? So what I'm going to do is 200 times 2. 200 times 2 is 400. So the value of the term there is 400. <clears throat> Hopefully you feel pretty good about that. Um, guest teacher, if people need to copy this down, go ahead and pause the video so they can get it. Once everybody's ready, press play. All right. So. I guess that means by now you got to copy down. We're going to keep on going. I'm going to leave this one up here on the board so you can see it. And I'm going to put another one up.
for you to try. So let's say that we had this sequence, 5, 10, 15, 20. I want you to come up with the ninth, ninth position value. Guest teacher, go ahead and uh, pause the video, let people work on this, and uh, you can work with your partners, and we'll see what happens in a minute. All right, and we're back. So let's make a little chart here. Position. Here's the value of the term. Bot, I guess that abbreviates to. I don't know what that is. So, first of all, I've got four terms. Or I'm sorry, four positions right here. So, one, two, three, four. And I'm trying to find out what's in position nine. Move that up a little bit more. So, go from here to here, I'm adding 5. From here to here, adding 5. Here to here, adding 5. So I'm going to take my position number and I'm going to multiply it by 5. So let's see. First position, 1 times 5 equals 5. And that's what we had for first, first position. Position 2, 2 times 5 equals 10. Position 3, 3 times 5 equals 15. Position 4, 4 times 5 equals 20. Let's see if this checks out, 10, 15, 20. And yep, that's the same exact pattern. So we know that our equation is good here, or our um, algebraic expression. So now, let's see what happens for position 9. 9 times 5, well, 9 times 5 is 45. So we know the value is going to be 45. I'm going to give you another one to work on. This time, try and see if you can do this one by yourself without a partner. Leave that up there so you can see it. Let's say we had three, six, nine. Let's say that's the sequence, and I want to know what's going to be in the 50th, five zero, 50th position. Guest teacher, go ahead and uh, pause the video, and everybody, go ahead and uh, try and figure that one out. All right. And we're back. So, here's a little chart, position. I've got one, two, and three, and I want to know what the 50th is going to be. To go from here to here, adding three, here to here, adding three. So, for my equation, I'm going to do n times three. So, my position here is 1, so I got 1 times 3, which equals 3. My position here is 2, 2 times 3 equals 6. My position here is 3, 3 times 3 equals 9. And my position here is 50, 50 times 3 is going to equal 150. Let's see if it checks out. I had 3, 6, and 9, that's exactly what I have there, so that's good. So that means in the 50th position, I'm going to have a value of 150. So by now, hopefully you really get this and you're uh, some experts on this. Um, you can go ahead and start on your homework. Uh, you can do that in class. Hopefully you'll finish it there. And we've got um, page 361. I'd like you to do numbers, um, let's do 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So, page 361, 3 through 7. All right, good luck. See you tomorrow.